hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c plus 2 is equals to c and we solve this problem for uh, all the values of c here you remember one thing is that our c should must be belongs to r it means that we need to solve this problem for the real values of r okay uh, i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so now here we need we move uh, towards the solution of this problem uh, and now here the very first step we are going to do is here first we need to eliminate this c from right hand side uh, for this we need to take the uh, squaring on both of the sides so that when we take squaring it will be written as c plus 2 whole square is equals to c square uh, and now here further in the next step uh, we uh, just need to expand uh, the square in the left hand side for this uh, we will apply here this nice formula if you have a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square so now here in the next step uh, we can expand the square in the left hand side so it will be written as here you see that our a is equals to c and our b is equals to 2 now we need to put the values of a and b in the right hand side of this equation so that when we put the values of a and b here it will be written as this is c square plus 2 times of a b here our a is equals to c and b is equals to 2 plus uh, b square so again our b is 2 square and this is equals to c square so further in the next step uh, we need more simplifications here and it will be written as this is c square plus this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4c and plus this 2 square is equals to 4 and this whole equation equals to c square so further in the next step uh, we need more simplifications here and uh, for this uh, we will uh, move this c square in the left hand side and when we move the c square in the left hand side it will be written as c square plus 4 c plus 4 and this is plus c square becomes minus c square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now you see here this is minus c square and this is plus c square are cancelled out by each other and we get the remaining values are 4 c plus 4 is equals to uh, 0 okay uh, so here uh, we need to find the values of c uh, so uh, so that we need to eliminate this 4 from uh, left hand side so that in order to eliminate this 4 from left hand side we need to divide both of the sides by 4 okay so here we divide by 4 on each of these terms on the both of the sides so it will be written as 4c divided by 4 plus this 4 is divided by 4 equals to uh, 0 is divided by 4 so you see here this 4 is cancelled out by this 4 and we get here c plus this 4 is cancelled out by this 4 and we get here plus 1 is equals to this is 0 over 4 is equals to 0 so because we need to solve this problem for the values of c here uh, we will move this plus 1 to the right hand side and we get here our c is equals to minus 1 so this shows that uh, this is the only real only one real value of c of the given equation uh, so uh, now here uh, we we check that is this value of c is satisfied our given question statement or not okay uh, so that in order to verification of values uh, first we need to copy down the given question statement here so that our given question statement is c plus 2 is equals to c okay so because uh, here we verify the value of c that is equals to minus 1 uh, so for this we need to put <clears throat> this value of c on both of the sides so that when we put we, when we take this value here it will becomes minus 1 plus 2 is equals to minus 1 and now here we check that is uh, both of these values are equals both of these sides are equals or not 
uh, so for this you see here this is minus 1 plus 2 and minus 1 plus 2 is equals to plus 1 and here you see that uh, this plus 1 is not equal to minus 1 okay so you see here plus 1 is not equals to minus 1 in general uh, so this shows that uh, the value of c is not satisfied the given question statement so here we can just write that uh, not satisfied so if the value of this if this value of c is not satisfied the given question statement it means that uh, we will just rejected this case and we have only one solution and we have no solution of this problem okay because here we, we just find only one solution and this solution is not satisfied it means that uh, the given equation has uh, no real solution in general uh, so uh, this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos